Hi there! We're going to make some quick animal tags just for fun. They look like this. They have a simple watercolor background. I like to make a little painting. I cut it up and I punch or poke a hole and put a string in it and it's a cute little tag. Um, so just enjoy it. Use what you have. Don't worry if you don't have the what you think are the right materials. Everything is the right material. When my painting's all dry, I cut it up into pieces. And then I like to draw the quick animals on them. The idea with the quick animals is you don't worry about your drawing. You just have fun and you make a quick animal. So it's not like an outline. It's like you're drawing lines and you're making the form and then you're going to take the most important kind of feature of the animal and make that. And then you'll know a skunk's a skunk if it has a stripe and a big fluffy tail. So let's try one. Let's try a skunk. So when I do quick animals, I'm just drawing lines. Like, um, it's like I'm drawing the inside instead of the outside. So I'm just like, you start smaller than you want your drawing to end up. So I'm just kind of drawing lines. I'm going to nail that great big tail right away so that I'm going to know it's a skunk. And then I'm going to leave some space while I go down to the other part of the skunk. So say this is his head. And we'll kind of scribble it in until we look like we have a stripe. Got a striped tail. We got two little feet and we have a skunk. Then I like to um, punch or poke a hole in the corner. So I take whatever I have that punches hole and then I'll put a piece of string in and I'll have something like this, like a little skunk tag. Now, um, there's a lot of other animals we can do, so I can show you some of the ones I was practicing with. They look like the owl, so I just kind of made those eyes stand out. And then I was experimenting with drawing a worm. Oh, there's my lobster. And, um, oh, there's a bird, a bunny rabbit. There's the big, <laughs> there's the big lobster. So I can show you how to do the lobster. Um, so just give me a second here. I'll take another one of my quick uh, watercolors that are dry. And I will show you how to make the lobster. Now what's the most important part of the lobster? It's the claws. 
I think, the big claws that show that it's a lobster. So, I'm going to... Okay, I have to start smaller than I want the lobster to be, right? Because I'm going to need some room to correct myself. So the lobster has a body, like this. And then, you got to make him long enough. And he's got kind of a frilly tail. And it scallops on the end of his tail, kind of. Like. And... I think he's got some things like this. Okay, so now you want to make those big, beefy claws. So you can start to scribble your shapes. Now that looks like the outer claw, so I'll go on the inside for this one. And then I just kind of scribble it. Like, I'm not trying to draw an outline. I'm filling in the middle until I think it looks like what I want. Okay, so now I think he's got a few more legs. And that's my lobster. So again, I can poke a hole right there. I can make a little cute tag to give someone. And that's the lobster. Uh, would you like to see the owl? Okay, we'll try an owl. We'll use a different color this time. Okay, so for the owl, you kind of no, you have to have those tufted feathers at the top of his head, right? And you want to leave white where his eyes are going to be, or your background in this case. So I'm just going to fill in. The owl just has like kind of body like this. See how you don't have to worry about really drawing? You just start small so you have enough room. And there's your owl. Oh, you could make his tail similar to what we did on the lobster. Just kind of make some loops. And there you go. You have a cute little owl. You can use this method to make a lot of different animals and have a lot of fun with your family. Okay, I hope you have a lot of fun. Bye.